All right, Tesla Autopilot works by using cameras that are positioned all around the car. So there's a one right here at the front. There's a one just down below the mirror, a one over there below the other mirror, and then the last one's on the boot just above the registration plate. And we also noticed that that camera's completely off center with the Tesla logo above it, which I don't think I'm ever not gonna be able to notice now. But anyway, in this video, we'll be covering up the cameras with blue tack and just seeing what impact that has on the driver visualization and whether we can still use autopilot when one or more cameras are completely covered up. So we can view three of the cameras by just clicking on this camera button. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out right now and I'm gonna cover up our first camera just over here on the left. Plunk a little bit of blue tag. There we go. All right, and now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna get into sort of driving and I wanna see, do we get any kind of warnings or anything? No, nothing's popped up anywhere. So does it just let me drive? It does, I can just drive along without any problems and although one camera is completely covered up, I'm still able to drive. Oh, we can still see wheelie bins on the screen. So I suppose that's using the front camera, but let's see if we can go into autopilot. Oh my God, <laughs> we're in autopilot. We haven't had any kind of warning, even though this camera is completely blocked up. Now it is worth mentioning that autopilot isn't just based on the four cameras. There's also sensors all over the car. While we're here, let's find out, is autopilot gonna crash us into this lorry or is it gonna stop? stopped a bit harsher than I would have liked it to but we are not dead so I will take that <laughs> okay so we could drive completely fine with that camera completely covered up I reckon covering this camera is gonna be the one that causes the most issues but before we do that I'm gonna try and cover the left camera as well so that both left and right side cameras are completely covered all right there's a train stopped so I need to be quick where's my blue tag where's my blue tag <laughs> Told me I'd where's it, where's it going? Then I lost that. I screamed around all our posters for that. You did as well. <laughs> oh, no. Where did I put it? The train things are opening. Oh, bloody hell. Hang on, hang on. So um, we've just set off after the train and look at this. Right front fender camera blocked or blinded. I'm surprised that didn't pop up way earlier because it's been blocked or blinded the whole time. It still lets me turn autopilot on though. But yeah, that is a bit odd that that notification's only just popped up. Also, it is worth mentioning, by the way, that um, a Tesla driver did this video about two years ago. So we'll leave a link to his version of this video in the description. So park up here. And now I need to desperately find our blue tack because as Becky said, that was our only blue tack and I've completely lost it already. Where did I put it? <laughs> Where's it gone, Becky? There was, there was, there it is, I found it. Yay! I found it. It had fallen down, it had fallen down. Okay, let's cover up the right camera. The left camera. Oh, I'm gonna put this nice and safely there. That's not going anywhere. Right, this should be interesting. Let's see, can we drive? We can, yeah, we can drive normally. So let's pay attention to the visualization and just see if anything shows up differently. So this is interesting. It's showing a bunch of wheelie bins up ahead, but there aren't actually any wheelie bins there. There's a traffic cone over here. So let's see if this traffic cone shows up. Oh, it does. Traffic cone still shows up. And I think it, it thought that the man was a traffic cone. Yeah, it, it does. It still does. <laughs> so because that man's dressed in orange, it thinks he's a traffic cone. <laughs> it is showing non-existent wheelie bins, which is a little bit interesting. So this wheel shows that I can turn autopilot on, so let's do it. Autopilot's on, 50% of the cameras are completely invisible. So right now there is a train coming, so are we about to hurtle into this van? We are currently accelerating at high speeds, we are going <laughs> way too quickly. Oh, okay, is it going to reduce speed? Oh my god, it is, it is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was, I was milliseconds from taking over and doing a very harsh break there. But good to know that, oh, bloody Nora. <laughs> <laughs> Took us over the train tracks a lot faster than I would like to, but it is now accelerating at normal speed, even though half of the cameras are completely invisible. So what about this rear camera? That's the only other one we can visualize from inside. Oh, it's slung us down. It's slung us down a lot. It's been funny on this turning multiple times, hasn't it? I'm scared of it, isn't it? really scared of it. Yeah, for some reason it slows us down really early. Wheelie bin showing up without any kind of issues. So this is where we um, drove off the road during our puddle video. But seeing as there's no one around, I'm just gonna pull in so that we can get this last camera covered up. So yeah, you can only see these three cameras on this screen. There's no reason for this big iPad to show what this camera sees because you can see what this camera sees. It's in front of you. But I'll get my trusty blue tack and I'm gonna get this last one covered up and I think that's gonna make a big difference. This one, though. 
<laughs> You've not covered it fully. What's that? It kinda likes like balls. Yeah. <laughs> How's that? Meh. Cool, why is that one sort of? It's because it's such a wide lens, I think. This side. And this side. Yay! Okay, here we go. All three cameras now covered up. So let's go into drive. Once again, still no kind of warnings or anything. So I wonder what the car thinks is happening right now, because it just can't see anything. Oh, this might be worth testing. So if I drive forward, you can see that I am 20, I'm 17, 16 inches away from the wall in front of me. Let's reverse and let's see if those sensors still show up for the, the verge behind me. So we're not getting anything. Oh, so it says we're literally right on something. And now it's changed to 14, 13, oh, even though we're not moving. No, stop. Maybe it's the blue tack. Yeah, the blue tack's definitely confusing it a bit. I do think that it uses the, the sensors on the back to, to determine the inches. Look, it's changing again. 12 inches, stop. So normally this only changes when I'm moving closer or further away from something. We've definitely confused it a little bit at least. Okay, let's go out of reverse and uh, let's start driving somewhere. Oh, so this is interesting. With just the camera in front of us, we can see markings on the road. They're displayed incorrectly, but they are markings anyway. So it's still showing lanes without any kind of issues as well. Oh, there we go, look at that. Multiple cameras blocked or blinded. Clean cameras or wait for them to regain visibility. So we've got that warning, but I think we can still turn autopilot on. So let's try it. Autopilot's on. Let's test how well it does. Autopilot driving without any kind of problems. Slowing us down a bit. Oh, it's, it's actually kind of, oh, it's a bit scary, isn't it? It went around that corner without any kind of issue. I mean, once again, this camera, the main camera that it uses, isn't currently covered up, so it's allowing us to use autopilot, no problem. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get over there, get parked, and I'm gonna cover up this camera, and I reckon that's where everything changes. But I am impressed that it is able to drive us, I would say, safely. We're staying a decent distance from the side. We're staying within our lanes. I would have liked some traffic to go past just so we could see if that shows up on screen, but I suppose we'll just have to go looking for that. So you can see it's still showing us when we get a little bit closer to the things on the side. So I guess, once again, that is based purely off the sensors. All right, we're coming up to a junction. So what we'll do is we'll go straight over. Junction lines and the markings on the road still showing up without any kind of problems. And there is a very large lorry coming towards us on the other side of the road. So let's find out if that shows up or not. It is once again warning me that multiple cameras are blocked. All right, the lorry flashed for a second. Yep, there's the lorry without any kind of issue. And then we've got a mini coming. Let's see if the mini shows up. Yeah, the Mini did show up, but not for as long as it usually does though, which is quite interesting. So it seems like perhaps once it gets parallel with the car and it can't rely on this side camera, it, it can't show anything off anymore. I'm gonna go this way. I see some pedestrians. I love visualizing some pedestrians. Go on, what we got? Anything or nothing? Anything or nothing? It didn't show me any pedestrians. It showed me a non-existent wheelie bin. All right, we'll park here quickly and let's get the final camera covered up. All right, this one you won't be able to see on the screen, but you'll see it's right there, so that's okay. So on closer inspection, there's actually like three different possible little lenses. So I don't know which one's the actual one. So I've always thought that it was that one. But if yeah. you look under there, there's actually a little oh, camera there. Yeah. Do you see it? I don't know if you can see that on the camera. It's probably really hard to see on the camera. But there's yeah, actually, there you go. You can see oh, there's now. actually oh, there's three. three. I don't think any blue tackle switch that <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it would. Right, okay. So I'm going to cover that, even though I think that could be a sensor. Um, <laughs> that one's going to have to go there. I'll put that one there. We need like a piece of paper. <laughs> I've got kitchen roll. All right, I'm having to whack out my emergency kitchen roll. Okay, I don't know if this is going to stick to it. I, th I have a feeling our kitchen roll is about to go flying. Put that there, get that one marked there. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. <laughs> We're very professional here. <laughs> Bloody hell, look at that. Guys, please do subscribe for more high quality Tesla content. Oh, what's happened here? Some of the blue tacks already fell off. Hang on one sec. <laughs> look at that. That's dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. All right, all four cameras are now officially blocked. <laughs> I don't know if I caught that on camera, you absolute moron. I didn't do the wipers. I didn't, what just happened? What? He must have thought there was something oh. on the wipers. <laughs>
<laughs> I don't know if you saw that or not, but the wiper triggered the second I put the car into drive. Just do that there. I mean, it obviously makes perfect sense. The camera was blocked, so the car thought that it needed to wipe it to clear whatever was on there. I did not see that one coming. Okay, she's going for it. <laughs> Okay, here we go. There is also a wheelie bin being displayed and there is no wheelie bin there. So that's quite interesting. There's also apparently a wheelie bin next to us, but there ain't no wheelie bin there either. Becky, I'm going to hand that back over to you. Thanks. And uh, let's see if we can start driving. What I'm noticing, I'm not seeing any lane markings at all. Oh, actually we are seeing lane markings. Oh, bloody hell, our, our kitchen roll's blown up in the air. So that'll be why all the lane markings are shown without any problem. All right, attempt number possibly three. Becky's, solid, though. Becky's stuck it down. It looks promising, to be fair. <laughs> I'm feeling good about this one. Okay, here we go. We're probably limited to speeds of about five miles an hour. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go, this is oh. perfect. There is a car coming, so I'm just gonna pull over here, let the car pass. Let's see if anything shows up on the screen or not. And absolutely nothing shows up at all. All right, we're getting to some lanes. Our kitchen roll is wafting in the wind. Something quite beautiful about it, to be honest. As you can see, there is no little wheel there, which means that I can't actually turn autopilot on. So it seems like everything comes from just this front camera. Multiple cameras blocked or blinded has popped up on the screen again. As you can see, we still can't see any lanes, but we can obviously drive the car completely fine. We just can't go into autopilot, which, you know, obviously that makes a lot of sense. Oh, it is actually displaying a junction line, which is quite oh, interesting. That's pretty mad. I wonder how it's doing that. I don't know if that's using GPS, maybe? So we can't see any road markings at all, which is really strange. Whoa, Becky, look at our kitchen roll wafting. Look at it go. Oh. Where, where did it go? <laughs> oh, look, all the road markings are back. And, and I can go into autopilot again. How wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Kitchen roll like that's completely biodegradable. I don't think it's worth going back for it. All right, new strategy. We're going to put the... What? Thanks for that, Vicky. <laughs> is, is, that, is that for me? Thank you. That's all that's left of me. <laughs> New strategy. We're going to try and put our GoPro clamp over the top of the cameras instead, because at least that won't go anywhere. And it should be able to block, you know, most of the cameras anyway. Hey, Bill, I'm in the mood for a switcher. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. The road markings are still being displayed. We're obviously getting our multiple cameras blocked warning. And it seems to be showing off all the lanes. But what's interesting is it's not letting me turn on autopilot, which it generally does in this area. But I'll get to a more mainstream road with more obvious lane markings just to check 100% that that's what it is. Big old tractor coming. So let's find out, does anything show up on the screen? Nothing shows up at all. We are seeing lane markings though, so I think one of the cameras perhaps isn't quite covered up. There's also a stop sign coming up right here, so let's find out if that shows up. So it should just show up just on the left there. This shows up every single other time, but today it does not show up at all, which makes sense because the thing that detects it is completely covered up. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get onto the main road. Let's find out if it will let us engage autopilot or not. Also coming up to a junction, let's see if this junction displays like the last one did as well. So the junction's just here, and this time the junction doesn't seem to be displaying. All right, this is the road where we can normally turn autopilot on. So, can we turn it on today? No, there is not a little wheel showing up. And if I try, it just says cruise control unavailable, reduced front camera visibility. So that's completely expected. I think the last thing that I do want to try is keeping this front camera covered up, but we'll then uncover the remaining cameras and we'll just see if we can turn autopilot on like that. So I'm going to nip out multiple cameras blocked or blinded. Not for long. All right, this one. There we go. Okay, all cameras now uncovered other than the front one, which is still more or less completely covered. We can still see lanes, but it will not let us turn autopilot on. This is what happens when I try. It just gives me that little warning. So basically what I've learned is that autopilot is 100% dependent on just this front camera, which I suppose makes sense because we've also discovered that there's about three different cameras in there, all pointing at slightly different angles, just so they can work out exactly how the road winds around and stuff, you know what I mean? And now lastly, I'm going to park up once again. I'm going to remove the GoPro from the front camera because I want to make sure that I haven't just broken autopilot forever. Okay, here we go. Let's get back onto the main road. Let's see if the car can see this wheelie bin once again. Oh, it sees it crystal clear. That is beautiful. And now autopilot little symbol has popped up. 
So if I engage, there we go. Autopilot still seems to work, which is fantastic because I was slightly worried that we'd broken it forever. And look, what a wonderful way to end. We can hurtle towards <laughs> this Picasso at high speeds. Is Autopilot gonna stop us? Let's find out. Oh, it's still going very quick. It's still going very quick, very quick, very quick, very quick, very quick. Oh. <laughs> okay, it stopped us. Oh, but it really leaves it a bit late when it gets to this bit. But we are not dead. We have survived and we can see the wonderful flashing traffic light slash train light things that Autopilot always gets confused by. Hopefully you did enjoy this episode. If you did, please do leave a like and also subscribe. We are very close to quarter of a million subscribers and it would be amazing to get there in the next month or so. And we also upload every week. So if you want to keep up with everything Tesla related, this is a good channel to subscribe to. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.